we humans like to understand things, don't we? We like to get to the bottom of things. We like to explain things. We like to work, work out why such and such is so-and-so or why so-and-so is such and such. It's one of the uh, principal functions of the human mind. Um, so in this film, I'm going to look at some uh, ways in which that meaning seeking and that pattern seeking and pattern recognition function of the mind um, can sometimes work against us. Uh, but before I begin, uh, just to say my name is Emily. I'm a Tibetan Buddhist. I practice silent meditation and Tibetan Buddhist mantra japa chanting every day and have done for nine years. I'm not a teacher. Um, I'm just here to share my thoughts and observations and ideas about uh, things. So, okay. <clears throat> when something happens that we don't like, um, of any kind of nature, one of the things that we try to do is to work out what it is and why it's happened so that we can um, work out how to undo it and or prevent it from happening again. And um, as we get older, what can happen is that um, we begin to recognize certain patterns of things going wrong for us, if I can put it as, uh, as generally as that. And, you know, that can be in anything like personal relationships, family things, work things, health things, whatever, you know. Um, we, as I say, we begin to notice certain patterns. And we can also kind of in tandem with that begin to have a recognition of a, a pattern of cause of this suffering whatever it is and by the time we get into say middle age <laughs> um, we might have actually kind of settled on something as the root cause, the primary reason for whatever problems we might be having. And so a problem can occur and uh, something that we don't like, and we can trace it back to this particular thing. And I think maybe it's a feature of, of, of middle age um, when the... Uh, the glory of the journey of life has um, kind of uh, lost some of its glamour, shall we say, and the energy, the big kind of like, whoosh, like energy of like launching into life. As some of that, you know, we burnt off some of those um, like booster rockets and we begin to sort of look at the bigger picture. Yeah, perhaps it's a feature of middle age. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, when we trace our current difficulties back, 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 we follow this train of breadcrumbs back to this cause, this, uh, <clears throat> this negative thing. You know, maybe it was something to do with the way we were um, treated or handled in childhood. Um, maybe it's um, something that, some illness that we had. Maybe it's some kind of random misfortune that occurred for us. Maybe it's a, a disability or, you know, it could be a lot of things. But for most of us who are kind of generally okay physically, it's about what happened to us when we were little. And in tracing back our current difficulties to that thing, we go, ah, oh, yes, I understand why I'm suffering in the present. It's because of that thing in the past. 
And that can give us, uh, which I couldn't change, I can't go back and change it, I can't control or control delete it, I can't like get rid of it, I can't control Z it, it's, it's happened and I'm stuck with it. That's why I have this problem in the present. And that can give rise to a sense of sort of reassurance. It's like, oh, okay, I understand why this unpleasant thing is happening in the present. It's because of that in the past. But what can also happen is that we can end up in a funny sort of way, actually relying on this thing that happened in the past, which isn't itself happening now. And in doing that, in order to explain things and in order to explain uh, difficult things in the present, and it can sort of set up a sort of dependence on the memory of this thing and on the idea of this thing. And we can examine this thing in great detail and we can find its tentacles in every and any aspect of the present. And in our wish to explain present difficulties, by, as I say, tracing the trail of breadcrumbs back to this thing, we kind of keep this thing with us in the present. And this is not to say that it's possible or advisable to try to, or anything to just kind of ditch this thing, because, you know, the memory is, what the memory is. And if we try to sort of ditch that bit of our memory, then I'm gonna to have to sort of ditch all of it. And that wouldn't be particularly helpful. So it's not just about ditching it and kind of canceling it and going, oh, you know, it's nothing to do with my problems in, in the, my difficulties in the present. It's nothing to do with it at all in order to break what is in some ways actually a dependence on this thing, um, whatever it is. It's more about noticing how we kind of run for the refuge of this thing from the past. We run for it. We take shelter in it. We need it. <laughs> we keep it alive in order to reassure us in the present. And in doing that, as I say, we bring it with us wherever we go. And in doing that, <laughs> we end up in a situation where the reliance we have on this thing as an explanatory model for our present problems also creates a situation where we feel like no matter what we do, no matter what we think, no matter where we go, no matter what we try, this damn thing is always with us. Perhaps there's a different way that we can um, navigate our problems in the present and a different way of relating our problems in the present to this thing in the past. Because in using this thing in the past as an explanatory tool, we keep it alive in the present. So um, there are some thoughts on that. It's more of a sort of psychologically based one, this one. Um, so I think, I mean, certainly in my experience, I, I've always got a little like bit of awareness in the present when I'm using that thing from the past in order to kind of comfort myself in the face of difficulties in the present there's a little bit of my mind going you've 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 called up the bogeyman again love it's the bogeyman <laughs> yeah and, and I think perhaps we 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 know we know when we're doing that when we're sort of harking back we sort of go oh no I can't solve this problem the reason I've got this problem in the present like the reason it's so difficult to solve is because of this thing that happened in the past that I can't do anything about it and I can't change it 
Um, so anyway, just some thoughts about that. I'm going to leave that there because I know it's quite it's, it's sort of quite um, quite a big topic that I'm trying to cover in a little film. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. I'm going to thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to support the work I do on this channel, please uh, see the Patreon link in the description box. And thank you so much to those who are contributing. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.